Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara, T to the Y to the M to the A or A. All right, today we're going to see what's going on in your energy. Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. Please use me as a vessel to channel their message. What would you like them to know today? All right, Sagittarius, let's see. Spirit, what's the present concerns or the major influence for Sagittarius? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Sagittarius, right now, at this present time, there seems to be this energy. It's your energy, but it's in the reverse. So, it's like Sagittarius, right now, you're feeling like, either you could be feeling like moving, moving or leaving or going somewhere, or there's also this energy surrounding you right now where you feel like you have a lack of planning or a lack of foresight. You just don't know what you want to do, where you want to go, what's going to happen with certain situations. Uh, you looking back, maybe you had made a choice, a major choice or a major decision, and you felt like it was on the right path of where you wanted to go. But now, once you made this choice, you realize everything is not what it seems. And now you're debating whether to change and do something else. You want to move, leave, go somewhere else. You could have moved somewhere for a job or went into a new relationship or went into, you went into something and did something. But now it's like you're having a lack of foresight or a lack of planning. You just don't know what you want to do. You're like, hey, I'm just taking it day by day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just confused right now. I don't know what the hell I want to do. All right. So let's see. So, Spirit, what's helping the situation or what's against the situation? Okay. We got the three of, yes, we have the three of hearts at this time. So now due to your lack of planning or having lack of foresight and being kind of confused and not knowing what you want to do, at this present moment, this is due to you, either you want to move away or leave a certain situation because you're just, you just overwhelmed. You could possibly be feeling depressed or you're trying to remain optimistic about a situation, but you like you you feel these emotions. It's like something is hurting you right now. Some of my Sagittarius could be presently dealing with a heartbreak, or you feel betrayal from somebody or something, or maybe you're just in this energy of feeling lonely. You just want to remove yourself. It's like you're feeling the um division in certain situations, like isolated, alone by yourself. It's like you're dealing with somebody. Some of my Sag could be dealing with some type of grief. Or sorrow. Maybe you dealt with something. Maybe uh, you lost somebody recently. Or you could have lost something recently. Or just overall, you feel like this unhappy. You're dealing with heartache. Something had happened in your energy. So this is why you currently don't know what you want to do. Because something you strongly felt like was going to work out is not working out in your favor. It's not working out at this time. And you just want to either you want to move away to release this pain. Or you're just almost stuck. You're stuck. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to get your head up out the duck, out the dirt. I was to say out the mud, but out the dirt. You're trying to get your head up out the. You just you're confused right now, okay? I'm feeling confused just saying this. I'm tapping into whoever energy this is. Now I'm feeling confused just saying this. So whoever I'm tapping, I feel it, and it does not feel good. Okay, so spirit. What happened in the distant past for my Sagittarius that got them to this point? What happened in the distant past that got them to this point? The reason what got you to this point is that you dealt with a lot of Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords up here in the upright. You dealt with a lot of backstabbing. Some just enemies, betrayal. So this is why you don't know what you want to do at this moment because you felt backstabbed. Like in the past, you felt backstabbed. So kind of this is why you probably isolated yourself. This is why you're dealing with depression or whatever because you're like, why do I keep going through this situation from different people, different individuals? Because it's like you went through a, situ a situation a number of times, 10 times to be exact, from the past to the present right now. It's like it's been nonstop. One minute you open your heart up again, this person backstabbed you. Then you open your heart up again, this person doing talking crap. Then you open your heart up again, this person became a secret enemy or just was envious of what the hell you had going on. And you wasn't deliberately putting nothing in nobody's face. You was just succeeding or doing what you needed to do for you. And so it's like there was 
times you felt like you was a doormat. People walked all over you. It's like almost like this energy of having lack of boundaries. Uh, another time you felt like you just fell. Maybe your business was not going the way you needed it to go. You didn't get that promotion at work. You was dealing with things with your health. Somebody, I see somebody laying here in the hospital or dealing with something with the health that repeatedly keep going to the hospital. I'm saying right now, whoever this is, somebody, I see somebody car breaking down. I see somebody keep trying to do things for their family members, but their family members are just not getting it. And you feeling like, what is up? It's like these repeated things of these repeated issues of you feeling defeat happen so many times, almost to the fact that you almost had a damn collapse and a breakdown and you was just crying and hurt and just in pain. You was just exhausted. Like this is too darn much. What more can I bear at this moment? Almost like you felt like you hit rock bottom and you felt like you was doing curse. Who the hell did something to me? Why, why am I going through this? It's like you felt almost like you just kept hitting a wall. Hitting a wall. It's like you faced the final nail in a coffin. So this is what happened in the past, the past, the past. Now, right now, in the immediate future, spirit... Okay, this was, I'm sorry. This was your distant past. This was your distant past a long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Now, in your recent past, let's see what's going on. What happened most recently? So, we're talking about this year. This year. January to right now. What happened in, um, most recently for my Sagittarius spirit in the recent past? What's going on with them? So, with all this going on in your recent past... Here we go. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. So now it's like you almost feel like you have this, you're in this energy of having a lack of choices. You're having a lack of choices. It's like almost like you're making poor choices now. Uh, this also speaks of like certain options. Maybe you feel overwhelmed because these cups are being dumped out. Like you had a number of opportunities, but because so much has happened in your past, it's like you are exhausted. You feel like you're breaking down. You're hitting rock bottom. And now it's like almost you're going through. Like recently, you just had a reality check. A reality check with a lot of things. You're starting to see things very clear. But you're going through some certain like spirit trying to show you something. With all this going on, spirit needed to show you something. And it's playing on your emotions. It really is. Okay, so Spirit, what's going on then? What's going to happen in my immediate future for my Sagittarius? What's happening in my immediate future for Sag? Because of everything that's... I don't know why this reading coming out this way. I don't like reading stuff like this. But of course, everything is not happy 24-7 all the time. It's just the reality of life. I try not to have negative readings, but what comes out is like I I, I pray, I pray to I pray to the angels and God and spirit and my ancestors and everything beforehand before I do these readings. So I'm giving this disclaimer. So I always ask them to speak truth and use me as a vessel to speak truth to whoever needs to hear this message. I hope that they find this message so it would not always come out happy and peaceful, even though I don't like doing these type of readings because I'm like. How many darn swords and empty cups out here is going to be? It's like a lot of mindset and emotional feelings. Like almost whoever energy this is, they've been going through it. And I just have to, I have to speak the truth. I don't want to lose my gifts. So I have to speak what spirit tells me to speak. But I don't like that this is coming through. <sighs> so. Let me just put that out there. So with the nine of cups in the reverse. So right now it's saying for whoever this is in your immediate future, you want to feel unhappy just in general. It's like you just had this energy around you where you are just not fulfilled. You're not fulfilled at all. It's like you dealt with so much in your past of like backstabbing and enemies and envious people around you and all types of stuff coming from all different points of views. Like this is a lot. This is a lot. Anybody would damn break with the crap that you've been through. That's what I'm saying. Anybody would break 10 times, 10 times of being stabbed in your freaking back and being stabbed in your freaking heart. 
and then all your options and everything being damn dumped out as if you lost it all because when this is in the upright this is abundance of choices you see all these cups filled with jewelry and money and this and that these cups been dumped out for somebody sag these cups have been dumped out and now look all the cups being dumped out so you somebody is not fulfilled right now sag i don't know if this is you or somebody in your energy but somebody is not fulfilled because it's like it's a lot of misery out here a lot of devastation somebody lost something somebody lost it all it really did and i'm so sorry if you're going through this so spare what's the goal what's the goal or the best that sagittarius could expect after this situation what's the best okay here we go. You see it. I shuffled. There we go. You have the nine of pentacles. So after being stabbed in your freaking back with the ten of swords and then betrayed in your heart and losing all these, like, your emotions, like, you was crushed. You was crushed. Your mindset was crushed. Your heart, soul, all that stuff was crushed. You lost a lot of things. At the end of the day, you're going to have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is ultimately what Spirit is saying. You can expect the goal, the best inquiry you could expect is that you're going to be very independent. You're going to have financial stability and success. You want to prosper. You just have to, you're going to receive rewards after your hard work. And you know, there have been plenty of stories out there. I don't even, if we pull out the Bible, because, um, Everybody, different people believe in different things. I'm used to the Bible as an example, but there's a chapter that speaks of Job. Job lost it all. His family, children, house, home, he lost it all before his ultimate success came in. And this is feeling like a Job type story. When you go so low to the bottom and hit rock bottom, you have no choice but to look up. Les Brown said that. I listen to Les Brown, listen to all the motivational people. And so Les Brown said that when you fall down, you have no choice but to turn around and look up, and you have no choice but to go up. When you hit the lowest of the low, all you can do is just get up, stand up. Donnie McClurkin saying, said it. Listen to that song, because I'm hearing Donnie McClurkin right now. Stand. That song, play that song, stand. You have to stand, Sag. Stand. You're going to be thriving in your business. You're going to have status, freedom. You're going to have wisdom because of all the stuff that you've been through before. It's giving you a certain type of wisdom that other people cannot would not see and there are plenty of people who have stories like this where they went through the worst of the worst quadriplegic stories people who burnt and fight like all types of stuff i don't want to i ain't gonna pull all that energy into here but some tumultuous stories and they wind up being the best motivational speakers the best healers the top this the top that because they've been through so much so they therefore a person who has been through so much don't want to see other people going through the S-H-I-T, sugar, honey, iced tea they done been through. So they tend to help people the most because of all the stuff that they've been through. Being stabbed in the back, being this, being that. Losing everything, losing the house, losing the car, losing the job, losing the money, losing the finances. Having a hard time feeding the children, doing all types of stuff. Success, it's like your success is coming after this situation because you have a story to tell. And you want to be helping other people so they can avoid the same situation that you went through. All right, what else, Spirit? As these cards fell out, I done seen the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, and the... Look, wow. Queen of Cups. I'm going to put this back in. It's going to come out again. Okay. Spirit, so at this moment, How does Sagittarius currently see themselves or what lessons need to be learned? How do they currently see themselves and what lessons need to be learned? You see it, Sag. At this present moment, you see yourself nine of swords. You had the ten of swords, you got the nine of swords out here. You currently see yourself, you have a lot of fear and anxiety. It's like you just have this deep unhappiness around you. You are stressed out and freaking burning. You're up at night crying. You feel isolated, alone. Nobody's around you. You feel like you're dealing with all these sores on your own, being stabbed in your back, tears, depression, anything, you name it. 
almost almost like I'm feeling like somebody battling with some mental health issues and in secret. And almost like you almost can't even go to the hospital because you or mental or get the help that you need because you don't really trust people. Because you've been stabbing your back too many times that you don't really trust people like that. And that's the way you see yourself. So you feel like you can't even vent to nobody. You don't trust your mom because she, 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 uh, she, she gave you a lot of your trauma or whatever. You don't trust your siblings. They don't see things. as a, like I'm feeling like you don't trust certain people. You had a best friend that stabbed you in the back. You had a homie that slept with your girl. You had like, I'm seeing all the, I'm seeing all this. The medical bills is piling up. The car just broke down. Like anything, you name it, you had dealt with it. This is what you're currently going through. Somebody's currently facing eviction or homelessness or probably dealt with that. And you just out and struggling by yourself. You barely holding it together. And this is how you see yourself. It's like there's a lot of, there's a lot of energy of focusing on the past. What happened in the past, trying to overcome this. Trying to get your mind back right, but it's hard because it's like you're trying to think positive, but all you see is what's currently going on. Somebody's really struggling, trying to pay their bills, pay their rent, pay their mortgage, trying to hold their family together, trying to do a lot of things. A lot of anxiety. Okay, so spirit. How does others see Sagittarius at this present moment? How do others see Sag? Five. We got the five of cups. Others see you at this time. They feel like you. Some people feel like you're either just focusing too much on the negative or basically you isolated yourself or you're in this energy of loneliness. Sometimes people see you as you got a lot of trauma surrounding you. Some people feel like Sagittarius, you're mourning something because I feel like somebody lost somebody. Somebody lost somebody very close and they're dealing with that situation. Somebody lost something or lost somebody. Um, somebody also feel like Sagittarius, they feel like somebody sees you as dealing with heartbreak at this moment, so they're leaving you alone. And there's a lot of trauma surrounding you. They feel like you're in despair or you got a lot of grief or loss or just sadness. Like, sad don't seem the same anymore. Sad seem very sad. So, Spirit, what's going on next? What is currently being overlooked at this moment? And then what's the best way to proceed in the situation, Spirit? We got the Hierophant in the reverse. Okay, so with this Hierophant energy... Almost like dealing with your hopes and your fears... It's like you're trying to challenge something. You're challenging something that just. It's like you can choose what to embrace and how you want to go about certain things. You choose what you want to do and how you want to go about it. You don't have to conform to certain situations. I know non-conforming makes it even harder because if you just go with everybody else and just go with the flow, things are a lot easier. But then at the end of the day, you're not happy. So if you choose like, hey, I don't want my kids to be on be on the phone. I don't want my kids to play on the phone. I don't want my kids to have social media. It's harder for you because then you're dealing with the kids complaining. You're dealing with the teacher saying, why we can't contact your kids. You're dealing with your kids feeling like they can't fit in. It's a lot harder compared to if you just give, give them the device. And I'm using this as an example. It's a lot harder compared to if you gave them the device. They're, they're quiet. Everybody else quiet. Their friends quiet. They fitting in with everybody else. But you know what this does for certain situations. You know what this does to the brain. You know what this does with a lot of situations. So you're the type of energy that tend to challenge things, but therefore it's making it harder for you because you challenge things so much. But still, do things the way that you want to do it because that's where certain leaders come from. It's the people that chose to challenge things and not to conform with this hierophant being here. Also, you may be dealing with like a unconventional, unconventional relationships. Just like you live an unconventional lifestyle. You may be a hippie, a free spirit, or a boho person, or this or that. Like, whatever it is you do, everybody else doesn't do it, so it makes you, it make things harder on you. Because you don't easily conform. You can see right through things, and you don't conform. So it makes it harder on you. But all I can say is choose which tradition you want to do. Embrace it. And choose how you want to go about it. Because at the end of the day, you are 
you. You're authentically being you. And you was made the way that you was made. The, like, you know how many <laughs> sperms or semen, millions of it, it takes to create a baby. And it took, and you're the one that impregnated that seed. You're the sperm. You're that. You're the person that was reproduced. It could have been so many other people. I want to say how unique, how unique you are, how uniquely made you were created. You were made in your own image to be the way that you are, and if you choose not to conform, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's for a reason. You was put here on this earth for a reason. And it may be hard now, but will not always last. What else is going on, Spirit? What's the outcome? What's the most likely end result of, of this reading for my Sagittarius? Hermit mode. Hermit mode. You could be... You're going through a spiritual awakening. You are soul searching. You're doing a lot of self-reflection. You're seeking a lot of inner guidance. You're going in solitude. You are in this energy where you need to honor your spiritual self. All these distractions, all these things are being moved out the way because you need to honor yourself, honor your spiritual self. This the main energy of this reading is hermit mode. Like once you, everything else is removed, you have to go within and soul search. Who am I at the core? What do I need to do? How do I need to heal? What do I need to do? Like certain people go through so many situations and then they wind up turning to God and going to whatever belief system and finding themselves. They become a monk. They become like this. I'm feeling somebody's stories like this. They will become a monk or they go inside the church and they become baptized or they find or they go um become Muslim or whatever you believe in. There you go, choose that route. Or you say, hey, I found terror, I found divination. Or I was able to, when spirit spoke to me, and then I was able to hear my ancestors or hear my spirit guides. Because of what you went through, that's how you was able to find yourself and go soul search and have an awakening. And I feel like you're strongly going through an awakening at this moment. Spirit, give me an angel message for my Sagittarius. Angel message. This the energy here release jealousy. This is saying jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly what you come affirm. Let other people's successes inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So I understand sometimes like you there may be an energy of jealousy here if you're struggling and you see other people succeeding. And if you feel emotionally down and you see other people cheerful at this moment and you spirit is saying you can have it, be careful what you're saying to yourself. What else, spirit? We have the moonlight and energy. And this energy is saying you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job and pay the bills. Soon your dream and career will take flight and fully support you. So spirit is giving you that soul searching energy and telling you to go after your dream. Go after your dream. Everything is being removed so you can go after your dream. And lastly, we have obstacles and blocks are lifted the obstacles and the blocks are lifted then we see this where you're going to be independent and wealthy hell somebody could be homesteading <laughs> out there in nature harvesting what is that every time you plant a seed you growing money it's like growing money when you grow your own food because she out there in the field or he out there in the field out there on the land out there with the animals it says obstacles and blocks are lifted spirit is saying all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your project. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that you flow of abundance, your flow of abundance continue. So stay centered in gratitude so your flow of abundance will continue. Okay. Check out my website. I got a gratitude journal on there. Uh, if you just want to just talk, need a person just to vent to, to talk to, I am here. You can reach out. Just, you know. And also, if you can relate to anything, like the video. And I wish you nothing but the best and success. Make sure you pray. Pray to Archangel Michael to protect you. Protect you from certain negative energies, certain negative forces to protect you. So that way you can elevate and help you to see the light through whatever you may be going through. Because, of course, life is not, we're not, We. it's impossible to be born. And then we're going to live all the way until 100 years old and never go through a situation. Unfortunately, somebody either just went through a situation, about to go through a situation, or just came out of a situation. And unfortunately, this reading is for somebody who's presently going through a situation. And so I wish you nothing but love and success. And I pray. 
that you can heal your heart, mind, body, and soul and get up out of this. So more to be, so more to be, so more to be. All right. I'm sending you love and light. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.